Hi, this is Captain Kimo. Um, this video you're watching is about photomatics. Um, I'm going to be do redoing this image you see here on the desktop of the Juno Beach Pier. Uh, what happened was uh, I overdid the processing, so I'm getting a lot of grain when I go to print the actual image. So I'm going to try to redo it uh, and not go too overboard, but still try to maintain all these nice colors. Uh, so what I'm going to go over right now will be the exposures that we have to work with. Uh, what I want to do with this video is to show you uh, basics of photomatics and basically how to put images together and uh, make an HDR. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and I wanted to show you the uh, exposures. Uh, this would be the evenly exposed image. As you can see, you we're getting good uh, color in the foreground, some color in the background, not a lot, but you know, I, enough to uh, to work with. The next image is the underexposed image. Now, what we want from this image is the background color, the clouds, and uh, the nice color back here. And let's move on to the next one. And this is the overexposed image. What we want from this image would be the foreground colors and the nice details here of the lit, the nicely lit pier. Um, so let's go get started with this and launch Photomatics. I'm going to close this and let's uh, get into Photomatics. So now we're now we have it open. What we want to do first is merge our image. Uh, go into HDR up here. Um, then go to Generate. What we want to do now is uh, browse and find the images for our uh, our merge and let's go ahead and select the three images which is the evenly exposed, overexposed and the underexposed. Click, click open get this window here and we're going to click OK and then we get another window. Um, we're, we're not going to worry about any of this stuff. We're just going to go hit OK and then we're going to let it do its thing. Alright so uh, here we are. We have our uh, HDR image. It doesn't look too nice right now, but what we got to do is we got to go and uh, do some tone mapping to it. This is where uh, all the magic happens. So we're going to go into HDR, click on tone mapping, and uh, we're going to get this window here. Uh, and we have all our controls set. I'm going to make it a little bigger so you can uh, see it a little better. Okay. Now um, I, I'm gonna go to the default setting so we can uh, start from just you know scratch from what it would originally look like and let it go okay here we go uh, it doesn't look too bad but what we're gonna do is try to uh, get the colors up a little bit um, do a few things to it to make it look nice I'm really not gonna go into all the details or explain a lot of these uh, buttons or sliders uh, because I just really wanted to show uh, you how easy it was to really make an HDR. It's not too complicated. Um, so I'm going to go here and start just fiddling around with everything until I get it to uh, how I want the image to look like. Alright, so this looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And here we are. We have our uh, composed uh, HDR image that's been merged together from uh, three different exposures. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, what I will usually do is go into Photoshop and touch it up a little bit. As you can see, there's some dust spots here and maybe uh, some light here. I'm not sure what that is. could be a star. I'm going to take that out. But uh, let me go and save this now. Uh, I'll save it. I'll go ahead and save it onto the desktop. I want to show you the, uh, the exposures again so you get a good idea here of what we got. This is the original image. Um, it was touched up in Photoshop some, so uh, it doesn't look anything like the uh, the one we just finished off. But uh, let me go ahead and click this. Okay, this was the original exposure, just so you can see again how it uh, 
looks and then the darker one the uh, underexposed image the overexposed image and the HDR image and there you have it your uh, first HDR photograph thank you for watching uh, this video uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you haven't purchased Photomatix yet uh, you can use uh, the coupon code Captain Chemo to get 15% off um, I hope you uh, enjoy using Photomatix as much as I do if you have any questions you can go to CaptainChemo.com uh, you can email me from there and I'll uh, help you the best I can thank you again for watching